Well, most kids take part in science fairs, hoping to, you know, maybe get a good grade, perhaps even go on to a bigger competition. But for one Montreal team, it led to a possible medical breakthrough and a small moment in history. Thomas Carey is the first student to ever be published in the New England Journal of Medicine, and he joins us this morning. Hi, Thomas. Hi, I'm Ruth. Uh, I love this story so much. This started out uh, when you were 12 as a science project. Tell everyone what you were hoping to find. Well, I was certainly not expecting to make it here to the, to the point where we got. Honestly, the whole beginnings was just to end up finding out how many lives has been saved by this, uh, by this humanitarian effort done by the Montreal Heart Institute. And although we accomplished that goal, everything that happened next is just unbelievable. And I never saw it coming. Yeah, and your project was trying to see rates of infection uh, when pa when patients were uh, inserted with a reused pacemaker, correct? Right. So, animal devices that are labeled as commercial single use only. And there's the uh, in 1983, a doctor at the Montreal Heart Institute by the name of Raphael Castan. He was a true visionary, and he was of Dominican descent. And he had experienced the hospital conditions in the Dominican Republic, and he wanted to do as much as he can to help. So he started this whole volunteer program of cleaning devices and sending them to that country for re-sterilization. And this program has lasted until today, where it was taken over by Marie-André Lupien, who's the current technician. And in the summer of 2017, I joined her for a research rotation because I, so, I was so impressed by all this work that they were doing. And then when I asked them how many lives this program had saved, and they told me that, well, they didn't know because it was only one person that was doing everything. So Marie-André, she's working a job mm -hmm. and she's doing this in addition to all that. So I put myself in her shoes and I decided I would want to find out for her. So I just, this went from simply wanting to know how many lives were saved to then later finding out the causes of infection and then comparing the infection yeah. rates and then we're here today. This, it is an incredible story. I, I imagine, however, there's a big difference between the research you did at 12 for your science fair project uh, and then a rigorous process to get into the New England Journal of Medicine. What, and, and where were you when you found out you were going to be published? Yeah, well, I mean, I think the biggest difference is just the team that I got to work with. Without them, the, that step would never have been accomplished. And uh, when I found out, I was actually in a, in a school bus on a class field trip with all of my friends. And it was quite an exciting moment because the whole time the team was telling me that, you know, since it's so difficult to get in the journal, I should not get my hopes up. So I was definitely not expecting to see that email. And then I started, I started freaking out when I found out the news and kind of missed out on the part that said that I wasn't supposed to tell anyone until it's actually published. So a few minutes later, I had to pretend like I hadn't just had the best moment of my life with everyone paying attention. Uh, Thomas, really quickly before we go, you know, you've achieved so much in three years. You're 15 now. What are you hoping to achieve in the next three years? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't see myself as being any different than uh, other 15-year-olds. The path for me is still the same as for anyone. So at this point, I'm hoping to get into medical school, to be honest, to be, one day become a doctor. I feel like you might have a really good shot at that. Uh, Thomas, really quickly, what was your grade on your science project? Well, I mean, it was, uh, it was two years ago, so it doesn't really matter to me, but it was 100. <laughs> Thomas Carey, great to meet you. I can't wait to interview you in the future and see what other incredible things that you have done. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me on. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.